I very recently learned about asexuality. And I wasn't really familiar with it until a friend of mine, Pamela, was just a former colleague. She was like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm asexual. I don't, and I was like, well, what is that? You know, just, so I, she opened me up to this whole ace arrow spectrum where people can be asexual or aromantic. And I even learned that there's so much to it. Like you can be lie the sexual, platonic romantic, coy sexual, rose sexual, dual sexual, Bella romantic, pan romantic, agaromantic, acupio sexual. Like there's so many nuances to this, this whole world that I had no idea about. And so I was really just kind of, you know, like, well, dang, if we had something, you know, as part of our just curricula and learning about orientations, for instance, such as my course, The Sexual Mind, where we <laughs> want to talk about different orientations, I would have learned a long time ago that there's this whole range of emotions and feelings that people have. And they're, and they're all very valid. I mean, so if you're feeling like I really enjoy sex, but I don't really feel the romantic attraction piece, and you just never knew that you were aromantic, you might feel like, you know, I, there's something wrong with me or something like that. When in reality, it's a very real orientation to have. And so I want to get that information out there as part of, again, my lesson on orientations in the sexual mind course. So that's why I really want you to pledge some money to this Kickstarter so we can get these courses off the ground. Have you ever heard of asexuality or when did you learn about asexuality? I probably learned more about asexuality in my adult years because people realizing that people in their attractions were a bit different and how their energy like would <laughs> be different within relationships and connecting to others. And even in some of my prior partnerships, realizing that their relationship to themselves was a bit different and their mm. relationship to others was a bit different. So it probably happened more so in the past five years or so. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Let's actually experience it. It's a bit mm -hmm. different. But, you know, I, I meet people who have like high libido or low libido. And I wonder where the ace arrow spectrum kind of interacts with that. Like if you're low libido, maybe you're actually on the ace spectrum and don't really even know it. So, I mean, I don't know. Again, I really want to explore these things. I really want that to be something we talk about. And I actually sat down with Pamela and she's one of my podcast guests. So hers is actually the next one to come out. So if you go to withsophie.co slash podcast, you can sign up to get a notification if you want to hear that asexuality episode. It's really going to be fascinating.